Hi, I'm back on the bus again, and today riding with me is Mr. Don Strickland, Transportation Manager with PDRTA, and we are in Darlington to talk about DART. Don, tell us about DART and when it's going to get started here in Darlington. Um, we've been working closely with the City of Darlington to, to establish a fixed route within the city, and um, we're proud to announce that we are going to start that route on August 16th, and it is called DART. That's fantastic. Yeah, we're very excited to, you know, to offer this service and we know there really is a need based on, you know, customer uh, call-ins and, you know, that thing. So where exactly is the route? Um, the route itself will, you know, cover the city limits of Darlington. What we've done, we put a route in place um, pretty much that will cover with, you know, no one will have to travel really over three blocks to be able to catch the fixed route. What times of day is, is DART going to be available? The service will run from 7 a.m. until 5 p.m., Monday through Friday. And what does it cost for somebody to ride the bus? Regular fare will be a dollar. Um, senior citizens 65 and older, um, anyone with a disability or Medicare card holder, and children between the ages of 2 and 10 will ride for half, half fare. Okay, and do you have to have exact change? We do require exact change. Uh, the driver, they do not make change on the bus, um, so there's no, you know, there's no change given. How do people get on the bus? Right now what we're going to offer is a flag stop system you know, within the city. Pretty much anywhere along the route, um, the passenger can flag the bus down, the driver will stop, pick the passenger up, and basically go to any destination along the route they would like to go to. Well that sure is convenient. It really is. And um, I understand too that y'all are um, developing a commuter route. We are. What we're looking to do, and basically um, start at the same time as the DART service, we're going to offer a Hartsville to Darlington to Florence commuter route and there will be a, a transfer point at the Bilo Shopping Center where the, the riders from the DART service can connect with that, uh, that bus and go to Florence or Hartsville. What about growth opportunities for DART? You know, we're starting out for, with one bus in, in the city limits, but you know, based on the feedback we've gotten from the citizens of Darlington, we know that there really is a need, and um, depending on you know, the ridership and we'll do some studies, you know, if they need additional buses, we're there for them. Um, and as far as hours, the same thing. We can also extend the hours. And also riding with us today is Diane Cohen, City Council member here in Darlington, South Carolina. Diane, um, one question for you. As far as the community meetings, um, how are those important here in Darlington? Yeah, we had a large community meeting in early June. And the purpose of that meeting was to get people to come and tell them what PDRTA has in store, what the plan is for the bus service. But at the same time, we also wanted to hear from the people what they need, what they want this bus to do for them. So we had a great turnout and people said, yes, we do need the service. We do want this service. And they also filled out surveys saying where they needed to go, what they, where they needed the transportation to take them. And Don Strickland from PDRTA took all this information and it was very useful in helping to put together this route. And now it looks like just about every place that people said they need to go is on that route. So we're really excited about that. Diane, uh, as far as the route brochures, where can individuals pick those up at here in the city? Yeah, these route brochures are going to be very important. And they will be on hand at the City Water Department, the Chamber of Commerce, and at Pearl Street Furniture. So you walk in there and you should be able to get a brochure. Diane, I wanted to thank you so much for being so instrumental in, in putting this together. Without you, DART really would not be a possibility. You know, you've done a lot to help out PDRTA in this process. Oh, I appreciate that. And we want to thank PDRTA so much and all the efforts you and the other folks at PDRTA uh, have put forth. And I also want to mention we've had this tremendous team of volunteers, people working within the city of Darlington, residents here, that really want to see this uh, happen. They want to see public transportation here in Darlington. And they've been working to educate people, get the word out, let people know about community meetings, whatever it takes. Uh, this team's been there, and so I'm very grateful we've had this group of people. Well, thank you both so much for giving us a sneak peek of DART. And Darlington, let DART do your driving. Ride the bus today. I'm so excited about the bus service at Darlington. It's called DART. This is for transportation for those that may need service or may not need services. But it also shows that Darlington is moving in the right direction. If you have any questions about the DART service or PDRTA, please visit our website at www.pdrta.org or feel free to call us at 843-665-2227.